Hello, my name is Ken Curry from the Waikato Rugby Union. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about women's rugby, and to help me do that, we have Crystal Kawa. Welcome to the show, Crystal. Hey, Ken. Hey, look, there's a big push to promote women's rugby in this country at the moment. What initiatives are happening in the Waikato? So we've got a few things happening at the moment. Um, we've got uh, two club teams um, through Varsity Rugby. Um, we set up a team last year because there were a few of us, a handful of us, who were travelling up to Auckland to play all our club rugby there um, and all our NPC rugby up there. And we kind of just got sick of travelling, really. And so we decided we need a new team down in the mighty Waikato and um, decided to chuck a team together at the Varsity Rugby Club and um, played our first year in the Auckland competition last year and came third. And um, this year, we, excitingly, we've got two teams. Um, so we'll be taking two teams up to the Auckland competition. So that, that's really fun and exciting and we're trying to get as many girls involved um, in that as possible. And then hopefully next year we'll have some new initiatives that help to see the women's game grow. Because it used to be quite a big game for women. You know, about 10 years ago, why could it have very strong in the NPC and produced a lot of national reps and what have you? Um, Vanessa Coots, obviously, is a, is a, a well-known name in, in Waikato rugby. Um, how come it sort of died down? Um, I suppose you need certain people in there driving it, and um, those drivers fell out of the game in the Waikato. And so I suppose taking away the NPC team, it took, took away that pinnacle team um, for people to play up to and look, look forward to being a part of, and it took out the strongest players in the region, um, and they obviously had to go and play elsewhere to be available for NPC. So um, now we're playing in the Auckland comp, um, and we've got some exciting things happening with um, a Waikato NPC team as well. And hopefully uh, Waikato Women's Club competition develops from that. Yeah, so um, next year we're actually looking at having a pre-Auckland competition. So, you know, a big call out to all the clubs out there who might be interested in putting a women's team together and having a kind of six-team competition um, prior to the Auckland competition, which is pr um, just Waikato-based and We'll have that competition run, play against each other, and then um, those teams who want to play, continue to play in the Auckland competition, will go up there because it is a really strong competition. Um, and in order to grow the game here, we need to be having that high-level competition. So you're quite passionate about women's rugby, aren't you, as you can probably see there at home. Um, <laughs> just but, a <laughs> but it's just not you. There's a few other people out there that are trying to drive it as well. Yeah, um, we're really lucky to have a real good group of people um, who are really putting a lot of time and effort mm. into developing school girls, women's um, club, and um, some of the, just some of those people. We've got Victoria Grant, Blackfern captain. Um, she's been highly involved in it, and her, her and Teresa Tatamaki, it was us three who decided um, last year, no, we're not travelling to Auckland anymore three times a week. We're going to um, set up a team here and only travel once a week. And so, yeah, us three have worked together. Um, we've also got um, a handful of guys who have been real passionate and real helpful. So we've got um, Bones Joseph, he's a massive trainer, um, just has us girls really working hard, um, getting our skin folds down and, mm. you know, putting us in the gym and really thrashing us at trainings, to be honest. And then um, Ruben Samuels, mm. um, he's in up at the Waikato Rugby Union there. He's been really helpful and he's really driving the women's sevens at the moment. We've also got um, our two coaches for the Varsity Club, uh, Liam Messam and um, Jackson Willison. That's great. So, you know, we're pretty lucky in terms of that level of coaching and um, there's added benefits to having those type of people. You know, two weeks ago, Sunny Bill was at our training. Um, the girls are very... So, yeah, so all of a sudden the women's registrations have increased by a thousand. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we had Sunny Bill at our training and um, the girls are all gutted that Liam didn't give us a heads up because, you know, you don't really wear the nicest clothes to rugby training. So they were trying to make yeah. themselves look as sharp as possible. And so all of a sudden these players are wearing makeup to trainings. Yep, no drop balls that, that <laughs> training though. So, yeah. yeah, definitely some perks to having these type of people involved. So your enthusiasm hasn't been falling on deaf ears, has it? Now the Waikato Rugby Union are creating, well, they're fielding a women's NPC team this year and they're advertising with coaches at the moment. Yeah, so um, Waikato NPC is confirmed for 2012, um, which is hugely exciting. And we're so grateful that the Rugby Union has come on board and um, is really supporting and getting behind um, this team. 
we really need our school girls and our club players to have a team to aspire to mm. um, here in our region. Um, and you, you look at our team, we have four starting Blackburn players playing for mm. our club. Um, we have a handful of um, high, highly ranked sevens players. Um, and there's just so much talent here, especially with the young girls coming mm. through. So I think um, this year will be good for us in terms mm. of MPC. And yeah, we're just really excited that it's happening. That's great. I think you're doing a fantastic job and those other people that you mentioned are doing great jobs as well. And uh, I love your passion. I love your drive to improve women's rugby. And I'm sure with people like you in there, it's going to be a big game again very shortly and, and, and rightly so as well. So, hey, thanks very much for coming on the show, Crystal. Thank you. That's the end of the chatter here in Matamata. Keja will be back with you after the break.